Hello and welcome. My name is Heather and today I am going to show you the latest version of Solid Steel Parametric for SolidWorks. Solid Steel Parametric is a 3D CAD add-on and adds powerful functions for structural steel design to SolidWorks. The software can be enabled or disabled in the standard settings like in usual SolidWorks add-on. The base of the CAD design is an usual two-dimensional or three-dimensional sketch of the system. In our example we design a small framework from plant engineering. To do that we start with the profiles. The profile libraries of solid steel parametric are very comprehensive, but can be extended in any ways if necessary. Right after selecting a system line a preview of the profile appears. Only after the dialog is confirmed the profiles will be created. To change the position of the profile relative to the system line it is possible to add in parallel offset. So the profile moves in the correct direction by half of the height or half of the width. If the connection type of those situations is known before, the length of the profiles can be edited during the creation process. In many cases the parallel offsets are not enough to reach the correct position of the profile. Therefore in solid steel parametric for solid work special individual offsets are available. With those it's possible to create an individual offset at the start point and the end point of the profile. The most easiest way to connect the profiles with each other is to cut them off. Solid Steel Parametric for SolidWorks offers many different functions from simple trimmings to complex cope cuts. All of those edits are done at the part and without any mates or external references. As an option it's also possible to trim the profiles at existing surfaces and not at other profiles. Also the user can select if the cut should be done by 90 degrees or along the selected surface. But one of the most important highlight of solid steel parametric are the different typical steel connections. Before we take a closer look at that we remove the profile trims with the comfortable functions of the software. Only the cope cut can stay there. We are going to start with one of the most common steel connection, the end plates. To do that we zoom into the corner of the framework. Here we can see that there are collision between the profiles and that they need to be connected. Using the intelligent functions of solid steel parametric, the placement of the end plates is extremely easy. Just select one profile and a connecting surface. In addition we select a standard connection from the library. Of course all the parameters can be changed in any ways. In our example we change to offset at the top and at the bottom of the place. We also change the position of the bolts. Because we want to reuse the end plate in our framework again, we store the end plate as a user specific standard into the database so we can load and reuse it later. But at this position we need a larger end plate because later we are going to place additional stiffeners in this corner. Of course we can change all the parameters now and store this end plate as in second user specific standard into the database again. When the dialog is confirmed the end plate will be created as an usual solid works part and will be stored in and welded component assembly together with the source profile. Of course the ball holes will be adopted into the part of the target surface. The software is working without mates or external references here too. All parts are edited on part level without leaving the assembly. On the other side we are going to place the smaller end plate as a double end plate. Of course the length of the bolts will be updated automatically and in this case both end plates will be moved into the correct welded component assembly. 
at the other three corners we are going to place the same end plates. Of course other types of end plates can be created with the flexible functions. Here we can place a non-rigid end plate connection for example. Therefore we create an individual end plate with the comfortable functions of solid steel parametric. By using the comfortable bolt dialog single bolts or bolt sets can be created. For our connection we are going to use an usual HD bolt set. And now all the end plate connections for our framework are finished. In the next step we are going to move on with the gusset plates. The software offers comprehensive possibilities that create the gusset plates easy and comfortable. First the bolted surface will be selected, then the welded one. In some there are three different types of gusset plates available. All the parameters can be edited individually, the geometry of the gusset plate as well as the whole pattern. As we saw at the end plate, the bolts can be selected by using the bolt dialog. Then we store the gusset plate as an user-specific standard into the database and we place the same gusset plate in both bracing struts. Of course the ball holes will be taken over into the profile and the gusset plate will be moved into the correct welded component assembly. Now we take a closer look at the cope cut. Here we can use a clip angle connection to connect both profiles with each other. The software offers the perfect solution for that. Right after selection the bolt surfaces which should be connected the user gets in preview. In this case we select and clip from the standard library, but it's also possible to design an individual clip. On the other side we are going to use the same clip angle. Because of the different grip length, the bolting is a little more complex. If the length of the bolts is not so relevant they can be placed automatically. For our example we select the four holes for the bolts manually. With the bolt and functions of solid steel parametric for solid works bolts can be placed into existing bolt holes. Therefore the well nail bolt dialog will be used. In addition it's possible to select multiple bore holes by selecting the surfaces that the user don't want to select all the single bore holes separately. Therefore just the start surface and the end surface will be selected and the software calculates the number of bore holes and the grid length automatically. Beside the clip angle connection, there are many other possibilities to create this kind of connection. For example with a bearing gusset plate. 
In this connection the profile with the rib will be selected at first, then the bolted surface. Here we just change the diameter of the coat borehole and select correct bolts. On the other side of the beam we create a simple type of a fin plate by using the gusset plate type 2. Just all the parameters will be set to get a symmetric fin plate connection. We connect the both profile the joints in the center of the framework by using a splice joint connection. Therefore just both surface need to be selected and a splice joint can be created. In the comfortable dialog of the splice joint all the settings like the distances and the number of four holes are done fast. On the other side it's enough to enter the dimensions, the length on both surfaces and the height. The boreholes can be adopted from the selected surfaces automatically, so the settings don't have to be done twice. Because the grip length of the bolts of the splice joints are different, the bolts will be placed semi-automatic. When all the bolts are placed a very complex steel connection is finished. At the beginning when the end plated were placed an additional stiffener should be placed. Therefore just both surfaces are selected and the haunch plate will be placed in the correct angle. Of course all the parameters can be set individually. In this example we place a fitting cord plate with the width of the beam. Additionally we place the ribs in the connected beams. Just select a beam and a reference edge. The ribs can be edited by many countless ways. For our frame corner a usual rib within chamfer in the corners is perfect. In the other profile we place for additional ribs. With this frame corner a very complex steel connection is created in very short time. 
As in last step in the design process the base plates should be placed. In solid steel parametric for solid works there is a special functions for the base plates available. Very similar to the usual end plates all the parameters of the base plate can be set. If necessary the bolts can be selected here too. As an option and shear stud can be placed. For our example we select a small eye beam. For the shear stub, the rotation and the length can be set. Also the base plates can be stored as an user-specific standard. After that we place the other base plates. Now our design is finished. If you already wondered about the missing bolts I have the answer for you. They are just disabled and be enabled at any time. So you have the perfect control during the design process. Of course the whole design can be changed at any time. Solid Steel Parametric is using intelligent and powerful algorithms for the calculation of the parametric. The only thing you have to do as an user is to change the sketch the way you want to and press the Solid Steel Parametric Update button. Right after clicking the button, the whole assembly will be updated and all the components will be adjusted for the new situation. Not only the length and the position of the beams will be updated. All the typical steel connection will be updated and adjusted for the new situation. Especially for connections with variable angles like the gusset plates that's very impressive. All the edits are done right at the parts and no slowing mates or external references are used. As we can see all the beams and connections are updated correct and we can move forward with the design process. Because we finished the design process we are going to take care about the typical following processes for structural steel design. One of the most important ones is the creation of bills of material. Bills of material can be exported to Excel with solid steel parametric, therefore new individual templates can be used. Those templates control the look as well as the content of the bill of material. The used templates are built up in a clear XML scheme and can be built up by the end user or by the sales partner depending on the personal XML knowledge. A usual Excel sheet can be used as an individual header. This header may contain a logo, the address, order number and many other general information. Position numbers can be assigned automatically as well as manually. Many user-defined settings like the allocation of special number ranges for different parts or the selection of individual separators complements this process. This side simple part lists even complex structure lists can be exported. Of course user-defined part properties can be displayed on the bills of material. The award process of position numbers is an important aspect of the creation of bills of material. In solid steel parametric for solid works the position numbers are awarded by a powerful algorithm. At the same time the geometrical detection for similar parts is running and checks if there are similar parts in the design, if yes, of course they get the same position number. 
If you change the design after the award of the position numbers, Solid Steel Parametric checks if that has an effect on the position numbers of the parts. A possible conflict can be that there are different parts with a similar position number. Because of the intelligent management of the parts, the user will get a warning and is able to solve the conflict. So you can be sure to have always correct bills of material. If you don't want an Excel export for your bills of material or if you want to have the bill of material on your SOLIDWORKS drawing, you can do that by using the standard SOLIDWORKS functions. All the necessary data are written into the user-specific part properties. Using modern nesting programs, dozens of sheet metal parts can be cut off a huge sheet nearly automatically. Most of those software solutions can use DXF drawings to place the sheet metal parts in an imperfect way without using too much material. In Solid Steel Parametric for SolidWorks there is a special DXF export available. The software exports the sheet metal parts automatically in DXF format to a user-defined storage place. So all data files are available for imperfect subsequent processing. The sheet metal parts ordered by the strength of material in the defined folder. We use the eDrawing software to view the drawings. For the real shot drawings often the real work begins only after the design process is finished. When all the beams and sheets are finished into details, shot drawings need to be done for all the single parts. Here Solid Steel Parametric supports with its special functions for the automated creation of shot drawings for beams as well as for sheets. The software is using intelligent and powerful algorithms and finds all the things at the parts which needs to be dimensioned. Miter cuts, cove cuts, single boreholes or complex hole pattern will be taken into account. If the beam is too long, break lines will be placed automatically. For the individual design of the drawings you can use all the well-known SOLIDWORKS functions. Solid Steel Parametric is placing the shop drawings of the beams or sheets on a usual SOLIDWORKS drawing template which can be edited individually. The detection for geometrical identical parts is also used for the drawing export. The time for the drawing export is variable depending on the number of different parts in the design. Let's take a look at a bit more detail. Here is one with two coat cuts and bore holes. An important following process of a steel construction is the export of the NC data. This data can be sent directly to the manufacturing machines. Using the Solid Steel Parametric NC Data module, NC data can be exported in DSTV format. Sawing angles, cork cuts or bore holes, all these necessary information for manufacturing are stored in the NC data files. The NC data module is available as a separated module for solid steel parametric for SOLIDWORKS. As we saw at the other following processes the NC data files are stored into a defined folder and can be used by other software solutions. With Solid Steel Parametric for SOLIDWORKS a powerful and complete steel design package is available which basically changes the efficiency and the speed of structural steel design with SOLIDWORKS. 
If you are interested in the software or if you want a trial of the software, please contact us.